good morning all cross border platforms yeah this is the voice of uh, Andrew Kavai, the regional coordinator for Sadiq Truck Drivers Association of Zambia. Um, I come to you this morning of 22nd uh, November 2022 in order to introduce uh, stars uh, to you. I know many people might be wondering to say what is so special about these stars that I could come as early as this in order to introduce them. Uh, as you are aware, uh, the job that we do normally is on a uh, voluntary basis, voluntary in the sense that uh, um, we don't get paid for all the jobs that we are doing. Whenever any driver has got a problem, sometimes drivers have found themselves in a mess when they don't have any talk time to even call us. Uh, but locally, uh, I mean, luckily for those that, could, that uh, are in the country, can use Airtel number and try to call even when they don't have talk time. Even if they receive a feedback which says you don't have enough talk time to make that call, but I will still I will still receive a missed call this side. And normally, to me, each and every missed call that I receive is very, very important. I don't ignore uh, phone calls. I normally call back immediately I see it. So for me to call back, I use my own talk time and only to discover that it is an issue related to a driver who calls me because he is a member of our association. So I can't just hang up. I have to listen to my friend and find out where and see whether I'm able to assist or not. If I'm not able to assist at that particular time, it won't end there. I will still go ahead, try to make uh, consultations. If it is uh, labor related, I'll try to call anyone that I know who is employed under the labor office, mainly the commissioners and the other vital uh, staff. In short, I will make maybe two or three phone calls or submissions before I can exhaust that case. So all that involves a lot of money. It involves a lot of money. So how do we raise money in order to help people? Because it is absurd if you call me, then I start asking you for, say, Please, can you help me with money because I don't have money to make a phone call? And I'm asking someone who is already in a crisis. And normally, these crises, they don't knock on your door early enough to warn you to say, tomorrow I'm give, I will be on trouble, so prepare yourself. So normally problems come when someone is not even prepared. This means that... He, most of the people will have trouble when they don't even have money. So I can't tell you or ask you to send me money. So I'll just go ahead and use my own money. And normally what I do, I normally keep something in my mobile money and I withdraw that one by airtime if it means activation of bundles. When dealing with people outside the country, I would definitely do so. Or rather, I should say, I usually do so. So, how do we mitigate the problem of talk time? That is when the stars come in. Um, normally, when you have a live broadcast, there is always a provision where someone can react 
can like it or love it or express some care or react angrily like he's annoyed with what you are saying or what has been just presented. But uh, with a star, a star is an addition to all those emojis which are already there in place when you're having a live broadcast. Now, a star is an extreme reaction where somebody feels, yeah, this person is really helping, so I'm also going to help him so that he can help others. So that is when stars come in. So, you will see there at the bottom, there will be a star at the bottom. So you just go there and click on the star. Immediately you click on a star, it will give you some indications of, it will give you some amounts of money. It will give you some amounts of money. The first one, the initial one, it says 99 stars. Then underneath there, there is $0.99. $0.9 is less than a dollar. It is cents, actually. So, if you feel to say, I don't have enough money, this is all what I can afford, because that is the essence of 0. That is the essence of uh, 0. Uh, 0.99. Say, okay, I don't have enough in my account, so let me uh, contribute uh, 99 cents. That 99 cents, imagine, is a very, very, very small money. Very small money. If converted into our currencies, like in Kwacha and Rand, you find that it is somewhere around 19 Kwacha. It's 19 Kwacha, yes, like in Rand, precisely. It's 19 kwacha, depending on the rate. Zambian kwacha, you might find that it's 17 kwacha somewhere there. So it means you have contributed 17 kwacha. If you are quite generous enough, you really appreciate, you say, no, I spend a lot of money on so many things, some which are not even necessary. Sometimes I even give brothers money that don't even deserve it sometimes. Why can't I support someone who will support me in case after this heavy drinking spree, then I go into Congo, then I happen to have a problem, then you still come on board to help me. Let me give him something bigger. Then you go to the next. So the next again, you find the stars. So as you are going to your right, the stars increase. And when the stars increase also, the amount of money at the bottom there increases. For example... The next star there, it will show you uh, five dollars. Then he, the most expensive, if not mistaken, is the fifteen dollars. So if you go for those amounts of money, fifteen dollar, if not mistaken, maybe it goes up to twenty five dollars. But the first most on your left, the first is ninety nine cents, five dollars, fifteen dollars, so on and so forth. So when you click on those things. It will take you to where to Google Pay Services. Listen to me very, very carefully. I mean it carefully. It will take you to Google Pay Services. Google Pay Services is a service through which we pay for a lot of things, including the apps. I know some people don't even know that the apps that we download from Google Pay, PlayStation, some of them are free. Some of them are free, but we pay them through adverts. When you watch an advert, you find that you immediately or want to open an app or maybe want to watch football. Immediately you try to open that app, you find that there is a pop-up which comes with an advert. So when you watch that advert, it means you have pay, you are paying for that app. But again, the many apps on Google Play Store have got options of disabling adverts or ads in abbreviation. So when you try to disable 
or when you try to pay, when you try to uh, open a pro version, Google Play, 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 uh, Play, Stash, uh, Play Store will open another window or will bring a, a pop-up to you which will ask you, you to verify your payment method. Uh, when you are in, in countries such as South Africa, the options are quite many. It gives you an option to pay either through talk time, if you are using Voda or Telecom or MTN or whichever network, there is always a, a provision where you've, you are given an option to pay through the airtime that you already have in your phone. I'm talking about actual airtime, not minutes we convert. No, but airtime. When you have airtime, for example, what I used to do, if I want to buy an antivirus for both my PC and my um, phone, when I was working locally in South Africa, what I used to do is I just open the app, then I try to, uh, to buy for many gadgets, which is including maybe one laptop, one desktop, uh, one mobile gadget. Then when it prompts me for payment, I choose airtime. So before that, I have to know how much is that app. If it is 80 rand or 100 rand or whatever amount, I used to buy talk time in advance equivalent to that amount of money. If it is 100 rand, I buy airtime for 100 rand. Then I leave it there uh, idle in my phone. Then I go into Google Play, Play Store. Then I try to buy that app. Immediately, I click on the that uh, on the uh, purchase of that app. It will take me to uh, an option where I should choose whether to buy through talk time or to buy through uh, ATM or Visa electronic card. So, definitely. Having uh, bought talk time in advance, I'll just click on buy using mobile network and it will ask me to wait a little bit as it is verifying whether I've got airtime or not. And within seconds, it will tick to show me that my uh, submission, I mean my uh, subscription has been paid for successfully and it will restart and show me the pro versions and the activation codes if it is a, uh, um, an antivirus even the activation code which is also sent to my email which i registered with the phone so even when i go on my laptop i just open my laptop or computer then i go to the antivirus and uh, say, say activate when i want to activate when it prompts me to go to purchase center i choose I already have key, then I copy and paste the key which was given through email and my antivirus becomes fully paid for and active on my phone. At the same time, it becomes a paid, not a trial version. Then the other option through which you can pay for products on Google uh pay is through visa electronic card so what do you do on visa electronic card you choose the visa electronic card then a card um just hold on a card has got numbers behind and in front this is a visa electronic card this is my visa electronic card for atlas mala so now normally what happens when you look at this Visa electronic card, unfortunately, uh, the lighting is very, very poor, so you can't see the numbers behind there. When you turn a card like this behind there, I think there, you can see something. You can see some numbers there in embroidery. There. Yeah, so those numbers, you copy them from left to right, the way they are on the card, you don't put spaces, the spaces they put themselves. So you put the number, the, that number behind there, all of it. Then again, it will prompt you for expiry date. The expiry date is normally here. You put that expiry date here. Then it also asks, uh, 
what is it yeah it ex it will ask for an expiry date which is here which is a, a four digit thing uh, it starts with two number with a stroke then another two number having done that then you turn your card around on the card there here on the card here where just uh, um, on your signature there at the end there is usually a number there it's three digit number that is your signature on your atm card and please always remember to keep these numbers secret don't disclose these numbers especially the back one to anybody where your signature is so you put those three digits numbers once you put then it will ask for the address the address it asks that is for security reasons it is the address you used when opening your bank account that is the billing address so billing address is the address that you used when opening your bank account for example if you if you stay at house number xxx or triple x in mushiri then you just say house number triple x mushiri if there is a street name you can say mushiri road that is just an example according to what you wrote when you were opening that bank account because if the if the address the billing address of your card differs from the current address the, from the address that you give the payment will not go through because you have failed to authenticate or to show that that account is absolutely yours is not somebody's account so when you enter those details and before you started entering de uh, those details you had ensured that in the same bank account whose card you are registering there there is some amount of money equivalent to what equivalent or more to what you are you want to purchase and when i say equivalent or more for example if an item that you want to buy is 100 kwacha or 100 rand or 100 dollar and your account is having th those amounts the payment is likely not to go through because the bank also have got their own transaction fee which they effect from the money that you have in your account so you have to make sure that you have to be aware of your transaction costs like um, uh, atlas mala most of the costs the transactions depending on the amount they range from uh, 15 kwacha on average 15 kwacha on average meaning it can be less or more then they can go up to the depending on the how much you want to purchase but believe, but trust me it is cheaper than getting into a bank and trying to withdraw some money so you will um make sure that you have an amount of money in access to what you want to buy from google play or any other uh, online um, online stores so if your details are correct you click if you normally put password before you make purchases on your phone on google play store it will ask for that pin code immediately after putting that pin code it will start going around showing you that the transaction is ongoing then if the amount of money is there it will tick to show you that the payment has been accepted and you've been billed so so before you can support us on facebook make sure that you go to google play store and put the mode of payment which is working you can try it before even um, relaxing by trying to buy anything any app on google play store there are so many applications that you cannot fail to buy so try to buy any app on google play store to ensure that your billing system is really uh, set properly so having done that 
it will prompt you. I mean, you will be set to support us using stars on Facebook. Then the other option is PayPal. Now, PayPal is a facility which is not very, very common in Africa. When I mean in Africa, these countries, I will not talk about Nigeria because Nigeria, they've got, there are a lot of Yahoo boys, the so-called Yahoo boys, I mean a lot of scammers who spend most of their life on internet scamming people or extorting money from people who are unsuspecting. So I can't say the whole Africa. So when I say the whole Africa, I mean my Sadiq Africa, starting from the equator there to here where we are on land. Again, I want to talk about Mauritius and all those other islands because those people, they are a little bit detached from us, even if they are under Sadiq, but they are a little bit detached. Their land is detached, so we don't, we hardly go there. Some of us, we've never been to any island in the Sadiq apart from within the continent. I mean, we haven't left the land to other these Sadiq nations. Yeah, so... PayPal is not very, very common with us, but it is a very, very useful thing, especially for those of us who like traveling. When I say traveling, it's not just traveling, you are here tomorrow, you are in Congo. I mean, no, even that is traveling because Tongo, Congo is a different country, Botswana is a different country, South Africa, so, so on and so forth. They are different countries. So you are not in your country. You might have forgotten your card at home. So when you have a PayPal account, before you can be, before you can leave, when you download a PayPal account, a PayPal app, when setting it up, it's the same process. You have to enter the details in your bank. You have to enter all those details that I showed you earlier on. Then PayPal again will make sure that the details that you entered are working. They will even try to deduct a very small amount of money from your account and bring it back. Can you imagine? They will deduct it, then bring it back. The essence of deducting it is to make sure that what you put in there is really working. So, that is with PayPal. So, the most important part with PayPal is that even if today, like the way I am here, I have an emergency trip. They tell me, okay, Mr. Kabaye, we invite you to come to America or we invite you to come to Australia to come and address some certain issues or represent drivers. It is a quick, quick thing. We'll provide everything. So please, can you come quickly? If I go that side promptly and I forget certain things, I, I forgot my bank card. I didn't set up my uh, Google Play Store properly. Then I go there and I want to buy something. And many stores in developed countries have got so an, an option for PayPal. So I will choose PayPal there. I'll tell them, okay, I want to buy something, but I don't have money in my account. Um, I don't even remember my bank account, but I've got a PayPal account, which I remember the uh, login details. I will log in into my PayPal account. Then I will also ask for the PayPal or maybe I will go through their system. I mean through PayPal within their system or online. Then PayPal will prompt me to enter password for my own PayPal account. Then I enter the password. It will come inside. Then ask me to make a purchase for that particular merchant. So when I click on pay and PayPal will do the transaction on my behalf and I will have bought that thing as if I was carrying cash in my pocket. So these are very, very beautiful innovations which I'm urging and challenging each and every driver to be accustomed to them. They must really familiarize themselves with them um those that want or that want to do it right away after listening to this video in case you get stuck somewhere 
feel free to call me either direct or on WhatsApp through plus two six zero nine seven six eight one seven one eight nine or plus two six zero nine six double two zero two nine eighty four all those are my whatsapp numbers uh, let me call them again without putting the country code zero nine six double two zero two nine eighty four is mtn then zero nine seven six eight one seven one eight nine is my airtel online you can call me and ask me if possible if i am within your reach or if you can arrange it i can come over then i show you how to go about it or help you to set yourself up so that in future you can be as y2k compliant as everybody and make purchases without necessarily walking to the merchant or withdrawing the money from the account at hefty charges and then going to pay to the merchant. You can simply, under your comfort, you just click. If it is a fingerprint, you put your fingerprint on your services, then the transaction goes through. As simple as that. So let us move with the world, with the rest of the world. This is the digital age. We are no longer in that age. Some of us, we are very lucky. We've been there before technology and we are here. We've been here, there before technology was so much uh, a thing like it is now. And we are still here. We are able to testify to say things have changed. Things have really changed for the good. And we should utilize these good benefits. So to summarize, I'm talking about... Uh, um, I'm talking about uh, stars which are aimed at uh, helping uh, producers or people, presenters who present people. Uh, we, really, we really present you because there are so many things that some of which no, you don't even know them. But when I, have a live when I have a live broadcast, you will be aware of those things. And, by, and when I'm doing that live broadcast, I'm using data. And that data is not free. That data is very, very expensive. That data is something that we don't get for free, no matter what. You have to purchase it. And when you purchase that data, it has to be used on you. So it is you that must support me to support you. So scratch your back. I also scratch yours. By that, I'm not, no, I'm not trying to be corrupt. No. Let us fight corruption together. I'm someone who is very, very much against corruption. Corruption has very, very deadly effect on our lives. I can't overemphasize that one. No matter how small, no matter how innocent that corruption is, in short, I can say there is no justification for corruption. Corruption kills. It has killed a lot of people. Many people have died. These accidents, these deaths in hospitals, some of them were caused due to someone who did not do or who did not allow someone to do the proper job by accepting bribes or by bribing someone. So corruption kills comrades. We shouldn't really entertain us. So when we say scratch my back and I scratch yours, it has nothing, completely nothing to do with corruption. And please don't even think about it. We don't like corruption. At Cross Border, at Sadiq, we don't like corruption. We are quite allergic to corruption. So corruption is a vice that must be fought by anyone. It never should never be justified. No matter how much money you have, you shouldn't justify corruption. So, those are my concluding remarks about stars. Please support us. Even if we speak against corruption, if you are a beneficiary of corruption, please, we don't like it. But if you want to support us through uh, legal means, that is by just clicking on a star, 
we will really appreciate you because that is what we might call sustainability. Sustainability is about plowing back to the community and we should always try to plow back to the community through so many ways. Like me, the community taught me this English I'm using and I can boast to say I know a lot of technological things because I once did computer systems engineering and hardware maintenance and I'm still doing coding. I'm still doing visual multimedia with the University of South Africa. So there are a lot of things that I know which some may not even know, but I know them. So why should I keep them? Because these things, it is you, the community that are teaching me. So I have to plow back. And how do I plow back is by having discussions like the one that I'm having with you right now. Thank you very much. This is Andrew Kawaii, your regional coordinator, uh, date 22nd November 2022. Thank you so very much. Signing off.